During the 1850s, there was a constant deliberation over which states and territories would be admitted as either a free state or a slave state. This created issues because if the North Henmore states or the South Henmore states, they would have more power in Congress. In 1850, a compromise was made in hopes of settling the slavery question by giving some satisfaction to both North and South. The compromise allowed slavery to continue but prohibited the slave trade in Washington, D.C. It admitted California to the Union as a free state but gave newly acquired territories from Mexico the right to decide for themselves whether to permit slavery, also known as popular sovereignty. However, most importantly, the compromise also included a stricter fugitive slave law that required Northerners to return escaped slaves to their owners. With the enforcement of this fugitive slave law, a civil war would be ignited, deepening the sectionalism between North and the South. This enforcement would lead to an increased radical movement in the North to free the slaves, and the enragement of the South to keep their slaves from escaping. The Fugitive Slave Act denied a fugitive slave's right to a trial, as cases would be instead handled by a commissioner judge who would be paid $5 if the fugitive was released and $10 if he were sent back to his cell. This act called for changes in filing for a claim making it process easier for slave owners and stated that there would be more federal officers responsible for enforcing the law. Northerners resisted the fugitive slave laws in many ways. Abolitionists band together and disobeyed the law by creating an underground railroad, a system of escape routes and housing for runaway slaves. The routes led from the slave states to the free states in the north and also Canada. Since the northerners could no longer openly rescue any runaway slaves due to this act, the secrecy of this railroad was crucial in the success of the liberation of slaves. In reaction to the creation of the Fugitive Slave Act, an estimated 20,000 blacks moved from the South and to neighboring countries by passage of this underground railroad. This rebellion against the Fugitive Slave Act enraged the Southern Congress. Unity between the North and the South was demolished as neither were able to compromise. This issue would have to be decided one way or another as neither side was willing to back down. If not, the country would break apart and witness a great war. And what?